Yo, it's Indy Chief. I'm sitting here at the house, bored. I done about got everything packed up. I done unpacked my arrowheads twice. Check these out. Got us a little friend today. Not if you can see him there or not. He's hanging out watching the show too. But check these out. I just wanted to show some stuff I've been thinking about. <coughs> you know, there's some exceptions to my rule on the serration. You know, like this one I'd call a knife, but these right here, I don't know if I'd call those knives or not. I normally don't, I know that. Little triangular blades triangular points but these have serrations on them I don't necessarily call those blades just because they have serration on them these here I'm really not too sure about either although I don't think they had bows and arrows at that time but these could be projectiles but they're kind of funny how they're wore down a lot of times like this one it's even got a little shaft scraper right there. You can see it on there a little bit. I was also thinking about, you know, how like when you put one of these into a handle to use it for a knife, a lot of people, you know, call them broke just like this one. You know, these ends right here are snapped off, but they're super old break for sure. But I think that was just because when they put it into the handle, I ain't saying this is the handle for it, but, you know, sometimes those things stick out, and when you got it in your hand trying to use it, that thing's going to be poking you right there. So they just bust those off. I think a lot of blades we find are like that. These Thebes blades, I seem to find a lot of them that are, they always got a little edge right there worked out of that. You know, I think that's just so, don't poke you in the hand, maybe this way, I don't know. Maybe that's just for a little cutting spot right there, I don't know. A lot of these Thebes blades have that though. A lot of my buddies find them and they show the same thing. Here's one more totally out. They probably threw that in the river and forgot about it. Pretty cool. I was actually sitting, noticing that on some of these Missouri ones I just got too. You know, you can tell this edge has worked out a lot more than this edge and they they broke that off it's got patina in there and everything I don't call that broke just like this one you can see the patina in it you know they might be broke from their first stage but I'm pretty sure the Indians used them just like that and probably did that on purpose. Then I was wanting to show some of these tinier, littler knives. I think a lot of these are little baby knives that grandma and mom used. You know, a lot of this stuff I think was used a lot more by the older people. That's what I've read a lot everything these might have even been knives just with little tiny handles used up I don't know it's weird how all these match up with like a six or eight point buck on the shaft part right there if you go get a six or eight point buck deer antler and they line up like like they were made to fit a perfect deer antler.
that one I'm a little I ain't sure about but it's got the clipped wings is what I call that don't know why they'd do that if it was a spear, but you can tell on it that it's been chipped that way. I don't know if I can, you know, that's purposely done right there. But check them out, see what you think. Thank everybody for watching and checking them out. We'll see you.